am originally Syrian. Uh, I started my career when I moved to Dubai in 95. I study actually visual communication in the art college, uh, not a fashion design, but I practice uh, the profession uh, through experience when I moved to Dubai. And then I started my own brand in 2000. Uh, the brand, since its start, it has one DNA, one aesthetic, which is the combination of uh, playing in both worlds, uh, the, the East and the West, trying always to play with all these uh, volume structures from the West and at the same time having the craftsmanship and the artisanal and the richness that the West has. The creative process almost, it's the same ritual every time. It's different practice, it depends on the collection, but it's the same ritual. Once I, uh, I feel a certain theme and I have a, a genuine connection to emotionally, I start as much as I can to collect references uh, from that era, from that topic, subject, from books to phrases, music, uh, films, uh, even certain personas from, from you know, that, that feel, and I try to create that universe around me, uh, imaginary, and uh, from there when I start living it, um, I, I start working on the collection from that perspective. Uh, it's, a, it's a very healthy combo. Uh, the old world, the craftsmanship, uh, the artisanat, the, the, where the industry almost started, you know, from the textile making to the uh, embroidery and all this, combining it with Dubai, which is uh, a commerce market and it's very important commerce market in the world, uh, has this bowl of, of multinational from all over the world uh, and at the same time then going to Paris where it's the art, the culture, beauty, the light, all those combined together it creates and it shapes actually my, my creative character. I'm, I'm very realistic. I don't really create uh, the, the client in my head and try to pursue a product that suits that imaginary client. On the contrary, I try always to be very open-minded to my clientele, understand their need, understand their aesthetic, understand uh, uh, their, their world, uh, therefore my product comes more relevant to that kind of lifestyle. So uh, since I moved to Dubai and because of this mix of cultures, I think I was lucky to be introduced to a wide range of language when it comes to client. So I understood from the East to the West to the American to, you know, uh, all, all different uh, parts of the world, how the woman think, what she wants, what she like, how she wants to be evaluated, all that created this extra knowledge for me to, uh, to, to make a product that it's relevant. I think after each collection it's a very proud moment. Just the first hour and then after that I start looking more into details and try to uh, top up the next season more than the present season. But every time I finish the collection and I see the reaction of, of the crowd, whether it's press, uh, influencers, uh, fashion followers, you know, all that, uh, it, it, uh, it gives a lot to the ego of the designer. I'm always positive about the future. Uh, what we are facing right now probably is the knowledge of speaking the new language of the, you know, the, the scene change and the rules of this game keep on changing when a generation comes. So uh, I think we just need a bit of time to understand the new generation's need and to know how to speak to them correctly. Uh, but it's definitely positive and Haute Couture never dies. I mean, if you look at the calendar and the off-calendar, it's busier than what it was five, six years ago. So definitely there is a need for that demand. As long as there is red carpet, movie stars, royalty, 
girls that dreams, you know, haute couture will exist. It's the same advice that I always say, just be yourself. Uh, there is an oversupply with similar products in the market that comes from many designers all over the world, which makes the client a little bit skeptical and bored and not excited. So the more you are genuine and present something that from your own perspective you would create a character that it's difficult to follow and copy. Uh, and definitely the client, they're more interested in that than seeing another echo for a sound that they've heard before.